Buhari warns Nigerians against unnecessary panic on coronavirus. Uh, well, on social media, a lot of people were actually beginning to lambest uh, the uh, amiable president of Nigeria for not speaking up timely enough on uh, the coronavirus. Uh, but finally, President Buhari has expressed sadness over the recent confirmation of a case of coronavirus in Lagos State. In a statement released by his senior special assistant on media and publicity, Garba Shehu, President Buhari noted that the virus still found its way to Nigeria despite the ardent efforts of the government regarding preparedness <coughs> and response response measures put in place in the country's borders and beyond. In the statement, the president commended the Federal Ministry of Health and other relevant agencies whose diligence and efficiency enabled the case to be detected, diagnosed, and the patient isolated quickly. The president also commended the responses of the Federal Ministry of Health and governments of Lagos and Ugu states, as well as other relevant agencies, uh, to the reported incident, and he called for vigilance on the part of all citizens and responsible government agencies. He also urged Nigerians not to panic about the news of this first case of COVID-19 in the country, as undue alarm would do citizens more harm then good. Akogun, we'll start with you. No, well, it's better late than never, but I think those who are mandated by law to act on this matter are already acting on it. Uh, basically, the president, as far as I'm concerned, mm -hmm. is whatever he says is relevant. As long as we do the needful, maintain the ports, maintain the, maintain the entry points mm. all over the country. So you think addressing um, the citizens is really not necessary. Uh, personally, it doesn't really do anything for me because he's not going to say it himself anyway. Mm -hmm. He's going to give it to a lucky Garbage or uh, additional. Mm. So it has no direct bearing. Okay. That other countries will have. Okay. And they were addressed yes. by their presidents. Mm. So it's not the same. So it's right to even pretend he didn't say anything. I'm going to protect <laughs> things that we know we can do. I pretend we don't have a president who cares. All right, Mr. Fossa, do you agree with Akogo or you share a different uh, sentiment? Well, well um, patients, I don't know where Mr. President um, gets his information from when he said, despite all the things that they did, that the uh, coronavirus he find his way into Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I, I don't also think that Mr. President do spare time to um, watch the plenaries at the National Assembly, both the Senate and the um, House of Rep, mm -hmm. because it was a day before the the index victim index case was found in Nigeria. I watched the on Thursday. I watched the the plenaries and um, um, Senator Borofis mm. was category was categorical on on his um, satisfaction at the airport. Okay, he said look, that they just came back from South Africa, mm. and the measure that South Africa has put in place. We checked and we never allowed any victim mm. to get into the country. Mm. Now, in Nigeria, what the airport officials were doing was to give you a piece of paper and ask you, you should write whether you have been sick in recent time. Mm. And he asked himself, who would ever tell you that he was who sick? Who admit? Who mm. would ever admit that he was sick? Mm. So, wherever Mr. President gets his information from, to say that despite all the things that they have done, mm. the rural virus they found its way into Nigeria. Mm. And most times I feel that Mr. President should just um, watch watch the events, not talk. Mm. Because I believe those who, who write those press but releases, but those if, who write if, those if statements. If he doesn't talk me. again, you know, people go on social media and begin to mm. say all sorts. PDP already jumped on this issue, oh, you maybe, know, saying the maybe, president yeah, should address that, the Maybe there is this, uh -huh. there is this um, um, example that they are relying on, you know what happened during the Ebola, how do Lord Jonathan came up on the national TV to address Nigerians mm -hmm. and Aleph, yes, that don't panic, we are putting everything in place. And all those things, we are not seeing it. On Saturday morning, patients, the Punch newspaper, of all newspapers, reported that the index case, the victim, was about to escape. Do you understand? Until yesterday, channels also broke the news that at that point that they provided TV, they provided books, they provide. You no, know, you can imagine, and the government were denying mm. that the man didn't want to escape. Mm. Mm. So it goes to show that we are not even ready. There was nothing on ground. There was nothing on ground. Okay, all right. Well, yeah, what uh, you say, Mr. Sandy? Yes, I share a completely different view from uh, uh, the 
Uh, the two former speakers, okay. No, no, to, to some extent uh, okay. himself. Uh, because the truth of the matter is that um, the international community, particularly the World Health Organization, had said that this has the potentials of being uh, a pandemic. And therefore, what that means is that there's problem, mm -hmm. that anticipation. So most countries were taking measures. Mm -hmm. Most countries were reassuring their citizenry. You expected a president, a proactive president, mm -hmm. to hang on, show that you are responsive by addressing your country to say, this and these are the measures that you are taking. You are taking. What that means is that you are reassuring them. They should. They should not panic. Mm -hmm. Don't you understand? Mm -hmm. If you see, if there is, if there's power failure in the house and you have young kids, the next thing they do is to, if, if it's in the evening, they rush towards their parents, either their daddy or their mommy, because they, they, they are scared, you know. And you reassure them by holding them, mm -hmm. giving directives, mm -hmm. put on the gen or do this and all that. So that was what you expected the president and commander in chief to do to reassure the citizen he failed in that. That's number one. Number two is that, just like uh, uh, Chief uh, Ofose said, the Boroughface, Senator Boroughface, you know, pointed that out, and uh, clearly that nothing was being done at our airports. Where is the port health service people? And is their responsibility, does it begin and end with just giving you yellow card at the airport? Because the, the, the government has a port health service. So when this happened, you should have deployed. What are the things that were used during the Ebola time? What are the uh, uh, what was it called? Uh, temperature checking, you know, uh, what was it called machine, machines that they had? You have to bring them out. What are the uh, sanitizers? You must be seen to you know be proactive. Mm -hmm. Now I agree with him. He's not the president. Even if the president didn't speak, the minister of health would have. So it's beyond just press release. And I had expected, uh, which was what they should have done. Because it's only in this country that you don't rely on what you have, you know, irrespective. In America, they, they call it um, uh, this is a party, non-partisan, uh, uh, you know, approach. To, so it doesn't matter whether you're Democrat Where you or belong. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's the, it, it, America first. Yeah. So in this case, Nigeria first. Mm -hmm. So if I were president, you know, haven't addressed them, the country to say, these are, these are the situation we are taking these proactive measures. Uh, meanwhile, I'm setting up a committee headed by the Minister of Health. Mm -hmm. You rely on Fashola, who is your minister? Fashola headed the, the, the Lagos government as at that time, and their, their response toward to the Ebola situation mm -hmm. was proactive, marvelous, first class. The international community okay. applauded that. Okay. Now, he didn't do that. And you needed a former minister of health, mm. irrespective of a, a party affiliation, mm. to now come in. Former minister of health, uh, Professor Chuku, who was you know, very proactive then okay. and very responsive. So, this situation, it, you know, is a hands on, over yeah, hands -on. Hands -on. not caring, non partisan. It doesn't what matter. party you belong to. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Did you see uh -huh. that press conference by the Minister of uh, in, um, Minister of Health and this chair that is the sat Lagos State no, the Federal Minister of Health and the chair is sat on? Did you mm -hmm. see that? Mm -hmm. That chair could also give you coronavirus if you don't. If you don't. <laughs> You see, at That's times perfect. it goes to show okay. how you can see this different state government coming, calling journalists and offering press conferences without taking these journalists to show these facilities that they are ready. Mm. Those are the, those are the, look, um, something happened in the U.S. too. The U.S. tried to play down by asking the citizens to turn their TV off for 24 hours because of Ebola. Now, those are the proactive measures to say, okay, okay it's not as bad as it is. Do you understand? Now we have until the case was found, the Italian man came. That's when we begin to run from pillar to post. Mm. Things are not done. Like okay. So now, patients, Quickly, sir. From a public relations perspective, mm -hmm. Nigerians and indeed government officials, they always make this mistake of using PR as a tool to react. Mm -hmm. PR is not all about reacting. They don't use PR, they use propaganda. Do you understand? You must, you <laughs> must even prevent it. Like uh, at the time they said the pictures started circulating, you know, online yeah, about, about the, the driver. The, no, not, not just the driver, the, uh, the the place prepared to quarantine yeah. people. Mm. That was the wrong picture that was used previously. So these were proactive measures that they would have taken to say we are prepared. We have XYZ place mm -hmm. in Lagos, which is a, ma a melting pot for everybody. Mm. XYZ is being done with Lagos State Government. So the, the talk of you 
uh, putting the Italian, because there was a the time they said the Italian wanted to escape. Mm -hmm. They talk of putting the Italian in a very unconducive place, wouldn't have arisen. It's not to place. be Lagos state governor yeah. to now go to, to that place to prove to people that. So you, you should have prevented that from happening. Okay. All right.